Okay, guys. Uh, wanted, wanted to do a quick vlog. Uh, if you've been following me most of the summer, I've been working on LED lighting. Uh, I posted up a how-to on uh, LED spots. Posted a second one up here about a week ago on uh, making the LED floodlights. Uh, by now, you probably guessed I'm converting my whole haunt over to LED lighting. The one aspect I had not vlogged yet was how I was going to control all the LED lighting. And I've been working on that for the last week. And this is what I came up with. Right there. There is my control box that I just got done basically ma uh, making. Uh, the numbers I wrote on here are kind of wet yet. But I've got it set up into two different sides or uh, two different powers. The uh, red lights going down this side are the red buttons are 12 volt black ones are uh, 5 volt and I have a master switch here toggle switch for power with that I can kill all the power to everything being controlled by this box I throw that one powers on and as you can see this buttons are coming on they light up when the power, it, when I have power going out, they light up. I turn them off, they go off. And it's the same way with these. These just have a little blue LED in them. Now, what I ended up doing, as you can see, is I've got all the switches on here numbered. One, two, three, all the way up to 18 and up to 14 on the black ones. Uh, the sides of the box for airflow on both sides. I've got a notch cut out, put some screen in so things can't get inside the box. It's so like that on the back. And then for connecting the lights on the back of the box, these are stereo speaker jacks. Many of you are familiar with that. And if you notice, I've got them labeled one, two, three, four, all the way down for both of them. The small ones are for the 12 volt lighting. These double ones are for the 5 volt lighting. And they correspond with the numbers on the front of the box as well. So number one back here goes to number one up there. Okay, that's my main control center. So at my haunt, once I get the lights up, I can run the wires and plug them into here and I can control each uh, area or zone in my haunt or display actually, because I'm gonna have each display where I could turn it on or off or do different effects with it through this board. Now, it looks kind of neat and bare on the outside. Inside, on the other hand, and hold on here, I'm going to kill the power. It's a mess. <laughs> There's the back of all the switches. Nice wiring mess. And then they all run down the sides to the two power supplies, which I did a how-to on earlier in the summer. And to power them, what I ended up doing is I went down and got me a power strip with a 15-foot cord on it that I can run over and get plugged in. That'll power everything. Now, I do have the master power switch, which is the back of it there. I can turn it all off. Or, if need be, I can come in here and kill power just by turning the power strip off. And if you notice, the cord here for the, uh, the hole for the cord going out is oversized. Uh, where this sits in my haunt, on this side here, I have two stereos. My stereos will actually be plugged into here too. So this box will only not only control my LED lighting, it will also control my two stereos. I can run uh, turn, uh, kill the sound and the lighting for the whole haunt right from this box. Now, when I finished the floodlights, and I told you I was going to do a nighttime LED light test. So why don't we do that next? Uh, hold on. It's a little bright out here. Let me get the lights off. Okay. Lights are off. Come on in. <laughs> okay. I do have the lights on in here. I have the box in here. I have all the lights turned uh, plugged in. None of them are turned on yet. Sorry, camera's going wonky. Now it's getting dark. Okay, let's see what number one is here. That's the ultraviolet. The UV light. 
uh, UV floodlight, I should say. We've also got the green. It's nice and bright. Seems to have a lot of light to it. And then the red, it's not near as bright. It's brighter than the UV. And then the blue. Seems like the green and the blue tend to be the brightest out of the four. Uh, UV seems to be the uh, weakest in color. But uh, I'm going to go back to UV, turn that on here. Oh, sorry, hit the wrong switch. But even still, if you look at the uh, board there, you can see some of the uh, some uh, fluorescence with the UV. You got the blue, red, green, and then with all of them on. Now these are the strobe lights I converted over from battery to 5 volt. These will be running on the 5 volt system. And as you can see, they work just fine. And as far as the switch goes, you should see a little blue light right there. But uh, anyway, that's the 5 volt side. So that doesn't look too bad. Give me just a second here and I'll show you the uh, spotlights and how they look. Okay, before I show you the spotlights, two things I wanted to mention. The floodlights I had set at seven feet away from the back walls or from the items that they were shining at. In my haunt, all my partition walls, my uh, maze walls are seven foot high, so I set the lights up at seven foot distance because they're gonna be mounted to the top of the walls. Second is a uh, product uh, review. The uh, black on the uh, on the housing there. I use this Rust-Oleum truck bed coating. It's like 10 bucks a can. Don't waste your money buying it. It's basically black paint with a little bit of sand mixed into it. <laughs> it ain't worth a price. Just get regular black spray paint. And as you can see, I've got my pretty assistant out here giving us a hand with all this too. So anyway. Literally, a hand. Yeah. <laughs> She's holding the spots for me. Let's get the power turned on here. And I got the power onto that. And I'll get the overheads turned off here. Now we're nice and dark again. Okay, now we've got the lights off. There's our first spot. That's a UV ultraviolet. It's not too bad. I'll be interested to see how it works in the haunt. There's your red, and that seems a lot brighter. Whoa! Sorry. Kind of cockeyed, that's all right. There's your green. That's really bright for a spotlight. And your last one should be blue. Yep, there's the blue. There we go. Now, I should note the uh, spotlights here I have set at about five feet from the back walls. So the spots are fa fairly wide. Of course, if you put them closer to your item, the uh, light won't be as bright. And we got lights all over the place. <laughs> there we go. So, anyway, there's your light check I've been promising you for months. So you can see what the uh, LEDs do. Which and I, I think this was a, a project well worth it. It'll be interesting to see how they react in the haunt. But for right now, that's where we're at. I hope you liked what you've seen.